Okay, and the last uh, picture we're going to do is a 3-2 or a rhino. Now, 3-2 would be three down linemen and, and four linebackers, and a rhino would just be an under shift, okay, with w this guy being actually a down. Now, we call it a rhino because we don't want backs picking him up on, on checks, so it's still one, two, three, four down. There's two ends. There's two guys in between the ends. We call it four down rhino. And what it means is it's a 3-2 spacing, but four down. That's for protection purposes. And for run, it doesn't really matter. If that guy's, if that tackle's here, well, we're scooping it anyway, so it's a big deal. Now, the one thing we will do, this is, this is obviously a, a giant end, okay? If we know that we're going to get a downshift, we can step with the outside foot but i just say the heck with that let's let's just indian this thing okay and if we indian and downshift we should it's two downshifts coming at each other it shouldn't really be a problem now you don't get the great stretch but if this guy starts to to work his way inside and we do a good job of being nice and square we'll run a double team on that and generally speaking if he goes inside we like to think he's coming outside but when the back is here, he really doesn't go outside. He just sits there, okay? And that's why you need you need some counters to this thing. But anyway, we'll take our chances as long as we know that we can disengage if the backer runs through. And that's why we want an Indian here, okay? We don't want this guy sailing out of here like, he, you know, hey, here comes the backer. Well, no, the backer's not going to flow. He's not going to flow. Forget about it, okay? And this would be... The reason why we, even against a shaded three down, why we'd rather downshift to our, our zone first. It's red. Red says downshift. We can always rewind and chip. So let's just do that for a second. This guy rocks out on the Indian. He, he rides him out. Okay. This guy matches, and this guy downshifts and rewinds, and we, we get a nice wad up there. Okay, so that's pretty simple stuff. Okay, that's that's no big deal, and I, I don't I don't see why there's a, a problem. Okay, just going a gap zone read versus rhino. We feel as if this man is not a three technique. He's not in the B gap. It's not a green light. That we want to read him. Okay, now this is all. Big, you know, we got an Indian here. We got a downshift here. Okay, we got a match here. What we're going to do is downshift because we know we're matching. Even though we're looking, we're matching. And what we're going to do is hammer the nose by turning the turret and then getting up and covering that guy. And here comes the read, the read, the read key. Okay, uh, we think that's pretty good stuff. Uh, of course, there's always the, the guy that says, well, gee whiz, you know, uh, what if this, we, we, uh, spike and, and scrape and now how's the guard get to well here's what the guard does he busts his ass to get to that man and trap him out okay trap that linebacker out all right let me uh let me draw this a little deeper here okay what i'm saying is if we're doing this okay and what we say to this guy is look you match him because the quarterback wants to split these two he's going to read this guy right here okay so we're going to eliminate him all right and if this backer scrapes, squeeze and scrape, this guard who's already hammered here, and he's got to be careful not to turn his pecker, okay, he is going to bust his ass and trap that linebacker, okay, so that the quarterback can hit it, okay, right there if there's a, if there's a pull read, okay. Now, anything that looks funny, okay, where the, the backer starts to move out, and act like we call this guy a bandit uh, because he's a, he's a sort of a burglar. He he's he's not where he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be here. He's out here. Obviously, something's going on. Some kind of twist. Some safety blitz. Something like that. If they can see that, then we'll go we'll go back to normal zone and everybody's happy. Downshift here. Read the the wide guy, and it's a pretty good shut off. Easy shut off to rewind if nothing hits. We really don't want to leave the center. Both sides isolated. 
Okay, so either unless the, unless this man feels like he can rewind and chip, this is his help. Okay, that's pretty solid stuff. You know, again, we're trying not to uh, we're trying not to get tackled for a loss. We'd rather be two and eight um, than um, two and, and fourteen. And that's just and I I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if I should even say why, but. Uh, you know, again, we, we feel as though if we can get to third and five or less, um, our throw game, which we which we uh, practice quite a bit, will, uh, will get us out of most of that stuff. Okay. So anyway, that's uh, that's the odds. Oh, let, let's just do this. Let's just move this guy back and go to, go to true three down stuff. Okay. This is this is where this really shines. Okay, when you can go smoking out of there and get that that look right there, okay, that's where it really shines, and and that's where you want to be two by two to get him walked out, okay, and it's sweet in the middle of the field three two, all right. If you're facing a lot of three two, um, you know we don't we don't you know we don't. Uh, worry too much about it but we'd rather train our our tight end to be a slot than to to, to go four wides all right uh, we just think that pre-snap um the defense doesn't know what personnel grouping to, to put out on the field okay